Hello everybody again, Joseph, and we're going to discuss power windows. In the previous video, we discussed power door locks. Now, power windows. Now, this is a very complicated schematic. The reason being, there's many options available. First of all, if you see over here, window switch. This is by the driver left front window switch the driver has the power or the ability to close all close and open all the windows therefore he is in charge he has like a master switch so this is like a master switch that he can control all the windows in the front the passenger and the rear the passenger can control his window up and down Over here. The rear, right rear or left rear, are the passengers in the back. They can control their windows up or down. So basically, in summary, he is the master. The driver is the master. He controls everything. But let's say you're the passenger. How does it work? How do power windows work? We know we need a switch. We know we need a motor. Therefore... How does it happen electronically wise? Let's look at it. Well, this is a B plus. As you all know, we always need actually a circuit breaker. Instead of a fuse, you find a circuit breaker. Power windows over here. And this is being photographed at night, so the photography is a little a little uh, difficult. So anyway, hot and run. This is the fuse box. And B plus line, which I colored in in blue, this is the B plus line right here. All of this is the B plus line, meaning this is the positive from the battery right here, all of this. Therefore, let's say the passenger wants her windows down. What would happen electronically? Let's look at it. Now, the switch over here, as you see, there's a position in here, right front window switch. That's the passenger. She can either go with the switch in the up position, which you see this one, or with the switch in the down position. We want the windows down, or the passenger wants the windows down. So she's activating the switch. The normal rest position is in this one. Do you see the black one? When she activates it, the switch is thrown the other direction. And this is what I colored in blue. So, let's follow the path of current. <clears throat> so, we're going to start from here. B plus current flows. Follow the arrows. Through this switch, and I'll explain it later. Lockout switch. This is the B plus line. Remember we said that? Therefore, all the B plus is going through here. Now... Going through here, now the position, as we said, went from this one, it was flipped to this one. So therefore the current has a path to flow. It will flow this way, through this, through this, through the motor. Now, the other switch in the up position stays at its rest position. She did not activate it, she only activated this position. Therefore this switch stays at rest, as we call it. Therefore, follow the current. Now we know another side, the other side of a motor has to go to ground. So we're looking for basically another path to ground. So we come out here, come out here, 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 here. I highlighted it, and here's ground. Remember, this is an opposition. The driver didn't do anything. So therefore, this switch stays at rest. Like this. Let's say for the rear. Let's say you have a passenger in the rear, left rear, and they want the switch to go up. To why? For the for the windows to go up. So the passenger activates the switch to the up position. Therefore, this switch will toggle from this position to this position, which I have highlighted in red. Now we know, as we did before, we need a, a B plus coming to the motor. 
and a ground on the other side. Let's find if that's true. Let's follow. B plus coming from here, here, going here, going here. Now remember, the switch has been toggled from this position to this position. Since it has been toggled, now the current has a path, has a complete path to go. Otherwise, it would be open. The current has a path to go. Follow it. Follow the arrows through this motor. Now we know the other side needs a ground. So this down switch stays in the down switch because she didn't activate down. She wanted up. Therefore, it will stay in this position. Come back up here. Come back up here. The driver did not activate anything, so this stays at rest. Come back here to ground. Beautiful circuit. Really is an amazing circuit. Anyway, that's how it works. As you see, right rear, everything will be the same. And everything will be the same. The only difference will be if you're going up or down, the current will flow in the other direction. That's the only difference. But we were talking about the switch, lockout switch. If you notice, what's the lockout switch? It doesn't allow the other people besides the driver to play with the windows. Sometimes you have children or something like that. You don't want them to play with the windows, so you put on the lockout switch. You lock them out out of activating the windows, the power windows. And how does it work? Simple. Just a switch over here. We flip the switch here. Now it's open circuit. What does that mean? The B plus goes over here. Now the B plus is open. There's no B plus line going to the, the switches and the motors. Basically, you lock them out. If you have no B+, plus, no motors can work, no switches can work. That's how it works. When it's a normal, the lockout switch allows B+, plus to be fed through the switches to the motors. That's how it works. Anyway, I hope you subscribe to this. I have many more videos on uh, my channel. is called Automotive Electronic Schematics by Joseph. I have another channel for basic electronics called Joe Electronics. Uh, uh, for auto. So please check them out. Thanks for watching.